Hi there, I'm Colin, and I'm on a journey to making my own soy sauce at home. But of course, I've been overcomplicating everything because I am building all the equipment needed to make soy sauce. So this is actually the last video of the process of making all the gear. So if you haven't seen the other videos, I'll put the playlist right here in the upper right hand corner and description of those other videos down below in the description. So far I've made a kiyoki, which is a cedar bucket to ferment the sauce in. I've built out a fermentation chamber, which is a place to maintain temperature and humidity. I've built a koji tray. And now this week I'm on to building a grain crusher or grinder. So I guess the first place to start for this video would be to explain what a grain crusher does and why I need one. When making soy sauce, we have two main ingredients, soybeans, like you might imagine, and wheat. Now we can't just use flour because some of the essential components of wheat that we need to use to ferment are not present in the flour. So if you look at um, a whole wheat berry, there are a bunch of different parts that make up that wheat berry. Now inside of that husk are um, the endosperm that contain a lot of starches that our koji spores or a mold is going to eat those and convert them into amino acid, which is gonna help create some of the soy sauce flavor. So we need to crack that husk and expose the endosperm so that way the koji have something to eat. So that's why we need a grain crusher and we don't want like a flour mill. We don't want to use a food processor or a blender because we're not trying to turn this into flour. We're really just trying to break open the husk to give those koji spores uh, access to the starches. Now I could have bought a grinder or a grain mill, um, but the good ones start at like $400 and I didn't want to spend that. And there's some that are in the, you know, 20 to $80 range that could have worked, but a lot of those look like they're trying to grind things into flour. And I wasn't interested in that. I don't want to turn this into flour. I just want to crack the husk. Um, and for around $80, I felt like I could build one with some scrap plywood and stuff I had around for cheaper than that. So I think my total ended up being around $40 or $50. So yeah, I could have spent $30 more and just had a product and bought it. But I always believe that you learn more when you make things yourself. So why do I need to grind it? And why do I not want to just use a food processor or something? I learned all of that through the process of understanding how I needed to build uh, my grain crusher. So again, I just, I love building and making things. And I feel like that helps me to learn way more about why you are using that particular machine or um, what that machine does and why it does it, why that was ever a process that needed to happen in the first place. So essentially what we wanna do is take two rollers, they're pretty heavy and large, and put them next to each other so they can roll and crush the grain between them. I'm gonna use some really simple materials that you can pick up your home center, like PVC, all thread, nuts, bolts, plywood, and a bucket. And I already had half that stuff on hand. So without further ado, Let's see the build. To get started, I began making the base that will sit on top of a bucket. Then I cut up some PVC pipe to length. begin mocking up the dimensions for the sides that later these rollers would be mounted to.
Then I cut the middle out of the base to allow grain to pass through. quickly realized that I cut way too big of a hole and grain was gonna fall out the sides. So I remade these pieces off screen and then added some little tabs to hold the base tight onto the bucket rim. And I'd say they did a pretty good job. Then I mounted the ends and the sides to the base and got a general idea about how long the shafts would need to be for the rollers, and I cut those to length. Up next, I added some caps to the shaft to hold the shaft directly in the center of the pipe and to hold in some concrete that I was gonna add later. I added hot glue to keep this assembly watertight to hold the concrete into the pipe. The PVC pipes had potential to flex, which might create this problem where not all the grain would be crushed. So by adding concrete, I'm taking out any potential for flex in the pipe. You may be noticing that these sides are now different. Uh, I quickly realized that I had not planned on a hopper, so I remade these sides and added pieces to fill in the gaps to create a hopper to hold in grain. Okay, so you probably saw that I cut a slot right in there and that I made these tabs to mount the shaft to. Now what this does is allows the roller to be brought in and out. So it's really hard to align these shafts on both sides. So this isn't mounted perfectly square. I can kind of play with that based on where these two tabs on each side go. And also it gives me adjustability with grain width and how much the grain is being crushed. So I'm able to move these in and out based on how much crushing I want to do or the size of the grain that I have. So then I added some grooves to help catch the grain in case these rollers were too smooth to pull it through. I removed the markings from the pipe with some acetone and then I washed that off really well with soap and water. Then I sealed up the whole thing with butcher block finish since this is gonna come into contact with food. All that was left to do then was assemble the sucker.
Okay, now that this is done, I can tell you this is not going to work perfectly. I'm not going to get 100% every grain perfectly crushed. Even with those tabs, the way that I align them on there to make up for any issues, yeah, it's not 100%. But that's okay. This doesn't need to be 100%. We're really, like I said, just trying to give our um, koji spores more access. They can penetrate a husk if they need to. And um, with how much wheat we're using here in this recipe and the long fermentation time, we're gonna be okay if I don't have 100% grain crush. This is gonna be okay. All right, so everything's made, it's all done. All that's left to do from here is to actually make the soy sauce. I'm so pumped, I'm gonna start tomorrow. <laughs> so hit that subscribe button and make sure you click on that notification bell if you want to see when that video comes out next week. So I hope you all have a great week and I'll see you next time, hopefully, with some soy sauce started. Cheers.